Tenerife, Canary Islands. A land of fire, forests, rocks. But a few miles offshore, under the Tate Mountain, a family of pilot whales can be found. They have been swimming together in this area for decades. This pod will stay together for their whole life. They will travel the ocean, hunt, breathe and raise their young together. A life in synchrony. My name is Ro and I'm a Darwin 200 leader. I am here in Tenerife studying the conservation of pilot whales. Shortfin pilot whales, or Calderon tropical in Spanish of the dolphin family, are extremely cool animals, mainly for their insane ability to dive up to a thousand meters deep, eat on giant squid, and then find their way back to their families using clicks and echolocation sounds. They're extremely intelligent animals and they care deeply for their families, raising their youngs and spending time with them for up to 15 years and mourning their deaths. I spoke to some specialists to help me understand what other factors make pilot whales so interesting and so worthy of our protection. El hecho de que pueda sumergirse hasta unos mil metros de profundidad para encontrar su comida eh, durante los avistamientos que lo vemos en superficie. Normalmente los animales están descansando. Pilot whales are the most curious, sociable, friendly animals. It's their willingness to come to the boat. When you've got intelligence, you've got curiosity. And obviously every day they display their curiosity. Es un, una especie muy gregaria, viven siempre en grupos familiares. Eh, los grupos pueden estar compuestos por hasta 30 animales, ¿no? Y, y bueno, y se trata de que son, viven en una especie de línea matrilineal. La, el, las, las hembras son las líderes, son las matriarcas. Y bueno, y son las que suelen llevar pues, el liderazgo del grupo, ¿no? Aunque ya son hembras que no son fértiles, pueden, todavía tienen mucho que enseñar al resto de la manada y, y todo ese conocimiento lo tienen que transmitir pues, de madres a hijas para que la población pues, siga existiendo. We are connected to these animals in so many ways. Every time they choose to interact with us, they show us countless examples of their amazing intelligence and emotional depth. Sabes que hay muchas muertes de las crías, de los bebés, y que ellos por su comportamiento social y gregario llevan a cabo algo que se llama un requiem post morte, que es que cuando se muere una cría, todo el grupo familiar la sigue en una especie de funeral durante días portando la cría en la boca. Babies have actually been born right next to this boat. They've actually come to the boat and you just you only know it's just happened because you see all the blood. And then you see the baby. We saw a big floating net in the ocean and whenever we have a big objects of trash, plastic, we take it up. And this is also a reason to why I'm on this boat. Uh, but yeah, we took out a big piece of net from the ocean and just a minute after we had so many young pilot whales coming in the front and playing and they wouldn't leave us. They just stayed, they were turning around, looking at us, talking. And I was so sure in this moment that they saw us take up the net and they wanted to thank us. Los calderones son un símbolo para la isla de Tenerife porque ya en la época que habitaban aquí los guanches ya ellos también habitaban el mar de Tenerife y es un símbolo porque bueno, es típico ver el Teide con los calderones en el mar y eso representa pues, algo muy importante para nuestros habitantes del azul. Whales have been in these waters for hundreds of years, but during that time the world around them has changed drastically. The massification of tourism and human expansion have caused a number of issues for these animals. This is their world. It's not ours, it's their world. In the next episode, we will discuss these matters with a number of experts that will explain to us the issues the whales are facing today. Hola, me llamo Aldo Domínguez Sánchez. ¿Te gustan los ballenas? Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque... Son muy grandes, tienen 
una cosa que disparaba. Uh -huh. mm. Es muy guay.